Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. And in this video, we're doing Spy Family openings because I recently did one of the endings and the anime fans in my Discord were like, hey man, you should probably do the openings. And uh, yeah, that makes sense to me. So we're going to do that. But first, I need to show you this really cool app called Face Mega and put on different Seahawks clothes. All right, be right back. The kind folks over at Face Mega sent me their deepfake app to mess around with. And honestly, if I had one word to describe my experience so far, it would be fun. Like, ridiculous fun. Okay, two words. But it doesn't make sense for me to talk about it. Let me just show you the app instead. So let's get into it. Before we do the actual app, I want to show you a finished product. I was drumming here, and I wanted to see if I could look like a couple celebrities while I was drumming. Uh, yeah, the answer is yes. We found great success. First, I had to go with one of my favorite actors of all time, Robert De Niro. I grabbed this photo. Here we go. Three, two, one, change. <laughs> Honestly, that worked out really well. So then I thought I should probably do something more extreme than De Niro. So let's get rid of him, and let's put up Megan Fox and see what this looks like. Okay, three, two, one, change. <laughs> That is both frightening and funny, but mainly frightening. Okay, let's get into the app and see how this works. All right, I've got the app open here on my iPad. Keep in mind, it does download for both Android and Apple devices. I just felt like having it on here. I'm going to go left to templates, and then we have quite a bit of uh, menus here. We have hot, movie and TV, model, TikTok for women, for men, sport, bride, global, and fashion. Now, uh... I'm going to go back to sport because, I mean, who doesn't want to... I want to know what I look like if I'm ripped and shirtless coming out of a swimming pool. So we're going to go with that. I click on... There's, I mean, there's a million videos here, but we're just going to go with this one. Uh, now, you would down here, you'd click on this little face with the plus and upload any photos you want. I'm going to click on my face here. Now, I have a hat on, and I wanted to see if it would still discover me with the hat. And uh, it does. Look at this. There it is. <laughs> In the dream world, that's me coming out of the pool. Love it. Let's do some other ones. All right, I think we're going to go with Superman. That seems like an easy one. I'm going to grab myself, put it on here, let it do its thing. And there you go. Suddenly, I am Superman. Wow, that's like actually me in the Superman suit. Okay, I feel like we know how videos work. If I go over to picture, I can upload any picture I want. So I'm going to upload a thumbnail for my YouTube. Uh, here is the Chainsaw Man drum cover that I did. And uh, instead of me being on there, let's put Al Pacino and see how this works. <laughs> there he is. We now have Pacino on the cover of that. All right, I've got one more to do. I get so many YouTube comments saying that I look like Christian Bale. I personally don't see it, but we're going to do the test now, and you can let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, we're going back to the Chainsaw Man drum cover. Um, I went and found a picture of him that I feel like, out of all the ones I saw, this would be the only one that's is kind of close, so I think this will be a good test. Okay, we're going to slap this on here and see what it looks like. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to save this one. I'm actually going to save this one so we can throw it on here and make it big and see what it looks like. Well, there you go. That is the Face Mega app. It's now your turn to go have some fun. Go to the App Store, search for Face Mega, or you can click the link in the video description below. This is opening number one, Mixed Nuts. Oh my god, dude. Almost a little freeform jazz at the beginning. I mean, the bass player is laying it down. He's playing like a straight ahead bass line, but it's all fuzzy. It's like grungy bass, but the piano player is absolutely going off. We need that again. Good lord, you hear the trumpet screaming there? The guitar player was going off too equally. I just I just was focused on the piano player the, the first time through. Ah, uh, that drum fill is sick and the brass hit is real nice. Let's go back five and get into this. <laughs> Interesting. We really have components of straight ahead jazz, like normal stuff, like even the comping, but it's like super distorted guitar comping. So it's, it's not normal within the style, but it doesn't matter. It works really well. What I can't tell right now is if this is an upright bass, a stand-up bass, just with like this fuzz on it, or if we're playing electric, because it might be a fretless electric. It just really has the an accurate tonality there, something that would be upright, but just with all the fuzz. But it doesn't matter. It's swinging. It's swinging hard, and the drummer's playing. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Ooh. 
This is amazing. This is a legit, this is a big band chart, man. It's just everything, it sounds different because your rhythm section is playing like in a rock. Uh, and I put quotes around that because it's sometimes silly to put, you know, names on the stuff. But what you just don't normally have, you normally have more, way more like laid back jazz, clean tone with guitar and bass of very clean tones. We're not getting that, but everything else is there. All the ensemble hits in the horn section, completely there. And then obviously the vocal is a little bit different too, but we can see this is sort of fusion E. That fire. Interesting. Now the chord progressions too. We're we're like in a world between straight ahead, like expected normal jazz big band chart chord changes and J-pop stuff too. So it's it's there. It's kind of a wonderful mix. The other thing that just hit me that I didn't really hear before, it sounded like the drums have a little bit of fuzz on their mix, which is very very different. So I'm gonna go back ten, and grab this fill again as we go into the second section here. It's just it's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, that was a cool little, uh, bri I guess, our halftime groove breakdown there. Um, I just was recently joking with my <laughs> with my Discord about making a bingo card about things I always say in videos. And one of them was like, oh, I hear a tritone sub. But I did. I just heard that. I know I say the same things over and over, but that's it's, that's what I, that's what people are, right? We have we have patterns. Uh, that was a really cool breakdown. At first, I was a little bummed coming out of the straight ahead section into that. But then it got cool because the chords are really cool. And the rhythms were not just a normal like boom, boom, crack, boom, 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 crack, like every other song. There were some different hits, and I felt like the rhythms pushed a little bit. So the only way to make sure is to rewind 30 seconds, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 20, 20. Here we go. <laughs> Nice. So, like I said, I was originally bummed we went there. Not bummed at all because the, the design is good. The way they use the chords and the key change in the middle of that was outstanding. So, let's keep going. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, so one thing I was thinking about in my mind is if you faded the vocal out, so you have this, you're left with a big man chart. You could put in a traditional like big band like jazz vocalist, it would it would fit just fine. You could take the vocals of this out, the style is being sung here, put it on more of like a pop rocks song, and it would also fit really well. So there's there's like some puzzle pieces that you could adjust and do some cool things with. So uh, that's why so far I'm really really liking this one just because of how fusiony it is, and just we're getting multiple stuff going, multiple things, multiple stuff. Uh, and also, man, I know I haven't really said much, but the vocals do sound amazing. I'm just so pulled into the fact that this is just such a big. A horn band because I mean it's really aggressive. Keep going.
very interesting. That was pretty cool. Okay, I feel like that's the outro music there. All right, so, so number one is this a straight up big band chart with super fuzzy rhythm section. And the more I listened to that snare drum sound, I would describe it as like uh, fuzzy chonky. It was so thick. It's not like snare drums don't really sound like that. That's super edited, but um, it doesn't matter. It swung and it swung hard. So definitely like that one. So I'm very curious to see where they go with number two. Okay, this is opening number two. This is Souvenir by Bump of Chicken. That's a cool intro. I was like, wait, we didn't go like some 70s disco funk. Everything was there for us. Man, that guitar line was real nice. I'm going to go back and grab the uh, drums and bass here. Normal tuning, normal sounds. Oh, the keyboard part's nice there. Cool. Oh, cool phrasing on the on the the back side of that. Baba biga gaga. I actually didn't get. Was it symmetrical? I'm not even sure. I'm going back 15. Is that a seven bar phrase? It felt like it. All right, so cool. Now, the previous one obviously was like straight ahead, big band swing with all the effects, but this this has some like typical standard like jazz chord progressions that you would use and more of like a funky, like kind of like, you know, exactly what we're hearing, this kind of genre. Um, but it's just it's related, but not really, but sort of. So that's interesting. Let's keep going. I'm curious where we go on the on the beat. <laughs> Really clever use of two note groupings, right? You got a baba, bidi, gaga, gagoon. The drums call that back. That's kind of fun. Let's go back here that again. So same chord progression here over this uh the chorus or whatever you want to call this part. It's just, I mean, it's identical to the beginning, just with a little uh, vocal harmonization, but rhythm sections stay in the same, though. Go back five. There was one extra uh, two note grouping there. That was pretty cool. Uh, so it's pretty obligatory, right? We we know that about if you're hanging out, we always talk about layers, but we can hear we've got our constant drive from the bass drum. But what's cool here is, I mean, it's normal, right? We're just applying on the hi hat, but that really provides us so much forward motion. And in the beginning, I was like, oh, it's kind of got that like disco thing going on where that's really a common technique used to drive that. But we just kind of stayed, you know, just it, we stayed pouring downhill here. The 
the background vocals, they're really tasty. This written really good. This is awesome. Cool. Nice little call and response here. Both times she has that melody. Da, na, 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 na. It sounds like Nana Nana Booby. I'm like, wait, what am I listening to? <laughs> What do we always say? Take something away. You instantly create that variety. You jolt the listener into like, oh, something new is happening. Give them the claps. Give them that stuff. It rocks, man. Here we go. Back five. So repeating a lot of the same stuff here, we're, we're pretty familiar with it. Wow, this one is like surprisingly um, simple in design compared to the first. The first opening had so much going on. Where it's so cool. We have a good groove. I just feel like the person having the most fun on the stage is the tambourine player just jamming out because you you know that's happening. But we put him at shit it. We're going, and there's not much of an alteration. <laughs> Cool. All right. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts on those. Well, oh, oh, let me hit pause. Oh my God, your outro music. Um, that was fun. So definitely out of those two, uh, opening one though, for sure. Like if I had to vote, if I had 10 votes to put towards which one I want to listen to, all 10 would go towards number one because that was an amazing piece of music. This one wasn't bad. It just, uh, what a, what a different vibe. So anyway, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Cause you probably actually seen the show and maybe this is representing something that happened in when, I don't know if the vibe changes, but let me know. All right. Thank you so much. My name is Drumroll Tony. Make sure to catch me when I'm live so we can talk about spy family music or just music in general. Lots of information down below in the video description. Twitch, Discord, Patreon, all the good stuff. If you like the video, please click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Take it easy. Bye-bye.